Hey everyone, this podcast is part of Story Mode, the podcast network of Gamefully Unemployed. You can support us and gain access to other great exclusive podcasts at patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds. At the beginning of the 21st century, the Umbrella Corporation had become the largest commercial entity in the United States. Nine out of every ten homes contain its products. Its political and financial influence is felt everywhere. Owen Rice presents Worst Corp Ever, a survival horror podcast about the Umbrella Corporation. Getting that new podcast energy going. New podcast energy. Oh my god! And we're getting that 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 BBE, that big bioweapon energy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is David Bell. My name is Tom Ryman. And you're listening to Worst Corp Ever. Worst. A show that we did not agree an intro to. No, I mean we we figured we found it though. We found it. Worst. Well, goddamn corp ever <laughs> in the true in the true uh in the true spirit of this podcast you know we we aren't quite sure what we're doing mm-hmm. uh, but we're gonna plow ahead no matter how many people die it's 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 exactly like the umbrella corporation <laughs> exactly oh <laughs> folks this is a podcast where we're gonna go through every resident evil movie and just sort of explore the the business strategy of the umbrella corporation yes basically we're going to cast ourselves as members of the umbrella corporation board and just try to decipher what the hell the is going yeah. on and in just put ourselves movie. put ourselves in their shoes like, how uh, does this make money <laughs> yeah how are we making money how are we sustaining a business uh all all of those good things uh, uh this is brought to you by one of our uh patreon producers yeah uh, owen rice yeah thank you owen owen came to us with this idea and yeah, pretty uh, pretty fleshed out like he yeah. told us precisely what he wanted and it's a good idea it is a good idea <laughs> yeah and so i'm pretty excited to go through the resident evil films we're not playing the games because you know we gotta like put these podcasts time. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Each each of these movies is like ninety minutes. Like those games can take quite a while. Yeah, uh, and and we're gonna you know watch each one, and for each episode, we go through one of the movies, and then you know try to figure out where in in their business model the Umbrella Corporation exactly is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're starting with Resident Evil. Yes, the yeah. two thousand two motion picture adaptation of the hit video game franchise was in development for years um i remember there was a contest included in resident evil 2 which came out in january of 1998 um, where you could uh clip away something on the inside of the instruction book and and send off for a contest to appear as a zombie or some kind of extra in the upcoming resident evil movie and of course the movie didn't come out for four more years so i don't know if that contest was actually honored or not right and uh good god tom you just (laughs) <laughs> revealed something to me that this uh-huh. movie was made in 2002 uh-huh. and not like 1998 like i assumed nope. uh looking at the cgi in retrospect of course it wasn't made then uh but i sure as hell didn't realize that <laughs> i just my mind was just like surely this isn't a 2000s movie oh yeah this wow. is a po- this is a post 911 film yeah, it's got that it's it's got that pre 911 energy uh <laughs> But I guess not. It, uh, yeah, most people have probably seen this. It stars Mila Jovovich. It's directed by uh, Paul W. Paul S. W. S. Anderson. Anderson, director of Mortal Kombat and Event Horizon. Mm-hmm. Soldier. Yep. And then director of just every Resident Evil movie from there Pretty on. Pretty much. He doesn't do, I don't think he does, he doesn't do the second one. Um, oh, and, and then I'm he not took the range sure. Back. If he does the... Okay, yeah, he doesn't do the second or third one, and then he comes oh. back in. Okay, and then it just keeps going. Tom, how many Resident Evil movies have you seen? Two. I assume it was this one and the next one? Yes. I've seen maybe four, possibly five, but I can't I can't say. Yeah, no, that I got that... I got that feeling. Um, <laughs> there are six of these films. Oh, my um, God. Oh, yeah. 
uh, the most recent one came out like within the last few years. This series has been going on for a while. Yeah. Um, I did. I saw this when it came out. I downloaded a pirated copy on my computer uh, in college nice. <laughs> and, wa- and watched it. It came out, I think, in March of 2002. Um, uh, and then I saw the second one on DVD, and then that's that. That that was it for me. Okay, I saw. I and s- I, go ahead. Oh, uh, I remember the one that takes place in Vegas, and I remember that being okay. And then I think I saw one other, uh, and it, it was like so. I think I had skipped one, and I was so lost on the plot at that point. Yeah, if you don't, if you watch the movies out of sequence and you're not familiar with the games, I don't think you play the games. Uh, or do, or I do only you? with you, Tom. Okay, so yeah, if if you if you're coming in without any knowledge of the games and and haven't been following the series, these movies are indecipherable. Yes. Oh, I I don't even know if the later ones follow the games. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> They implement elements of them, but this this uh, the Resident Evil movie series is very much its own storyline. Okay, yeah, because it involves I know Mila Jovovich and clones eventually, uh, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that wonderful yep. part. Uh, yep, for we'll, now, we'll 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 we'll, we'll, uh, we'll boil that chestnut when yeah. the time is right. <laughs> for now, we're at simpler times. We're at uh, yeah. this first one that. Uh, what, did you like this movie? I kind of like this movie. When it first uh, came I out. don't. Okay. I like a lot of the ideas of the movie. I liked how many people they kill off right away. Uh, <laughs> the laser scene is pretty great. Yes, because it's you at the time it came out, you really don't expect like those characters to just get chopped up and then we be done with them. Right, like more than half the team. Yeah, and the main guy who you think is going to be a main character, uh they even set it up when the the lasers turn into a grid. They're like hacking the system and you think like, oh, they're going to stop it just in time. Even in yeah. that moment, you don't expect him to die. And then he super dies. Yeah, he absolutely turbo dies. Yes. <laughs> he dies. He goes all the way. All the way. Yeah. Yep. He gets cut into tiny little meat cubes. Yeah. Little bullion cubes. Oh, yeah. Delicious little, 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 little cr- people cubes. bullion cubes. Which yeah, was, I believe, those. a practical effect. Uh, which is kind of surprising, although it's out of focus, so you can kind of see why they uh, they set up like a like you can see yeah. behind the scenes stuff on that. Oh, okay. it's kind of cool. It's uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a neat effect. It's a neat idea. Cool. Yeah, no, I like the laser sequence. Yeah, was um, that done in Cube already when this movie came out? Um, when did Cube, Cube come out? Man, Cube was close to this. Maybe they were just, they happened to have the same. Maybe just Cube, same uh, No, brain. Cube was 1997. Okay. So never motherfuckers mind. stole that from Cube. Whatever. Hell yeah, they did. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, this ends like the video game? Is that what I, I, I've been told? I've heard? Is, no. No? <laughs> I heard no. that this ended similar to how the video game started. Uh, it, mm, it ends how similar to how Resident Evil Two begins, but nobody's oh. s- nope, nobody's stumbling out of the hospital. Okay, okay, just checking. There's two characters that arrive to the city, and the city's already like this. It look, it's like okay. Is the hive it, in it, the game? Shambles. No. Oh. There's a version of the hive in the, they, but they don't call it that. Okay. Like the whole laboratory is in the in the first game. The whole laboratory is contained directly within and like in a couple of floors below that mansion okay it's all in the mansion all right so there is a mansion the Mm -hmm. movie the movie opens with a a bunch of employees getting fucking murdered by the computer Uh, the opening is kind of cool the opening's cool um the elevator stuff because the red queen is supposed to be uh, the red queen is the computer that yeah it's an um, ai that runs the hive uh research facility yeah and it's supposed to be like cold and calculating but also likes to have a little fun with the elevators yeah it likes to like yo-yo a lady's head in an elevator and it's yeah. like you think you're gonna fall nope i'm just gonna raise it up and rip your head off yeah did not need to do that red queen Tee-hee. yeah uh she seemed to say yeah it is a it is a fun opening uh and then we have mila jovovich wakes up in a shower Mm-hmm. Uh, in one of many moments of her being like half naked in this movie, she is totally naked in this movie. Yes, at, at, the, at one point in the um, yeah, like yeah, the straight end. up, you straight up see her vagina at yep. the end of the movie, which is not something you expect in a Resident no. Evil adaptation for families. I guess <laughs> for families. 
for I families. Mean, it's, an R, it's an R-rated horror right. action movie. Well, so, yeah, I guess it was it's just, that it's it not just, that gory, sort of, or it's not like it's yeah, weird it because is, there's it's it's not very gory. There's not that much swearing, and then there's just full frontal, <laughs> and you're like, mm-hmm. whoa! All right, mm-hmm. I feel like they could have cut just that and got it down yeah. to a PG thirteen. Um, I don't know. They were going for the R, so maybe they included some of that stuff just to make sure they get it. It's also, I don't know if they were married at this point, but she's definitely married to Paul W.S. Anderson now. Right. Um, so Was this the courtship? Li- right. It makes it a little weird. <laughs> Where he's least. like, everybody, check out my wife's vagina. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Who, who knows whose idea it was uh, yeah. or why. It's, very, it's just very jarring. I'm glad we mm-hmm. got to that. I'm glad we got to that right away. Uh, yeah just straight away i had to point that out because it was (laughs) of all the things in this movie that i was not expecting to see (laughs) right that is mila jovovich's vagina was not one of them no (laughs) it's a very bold choice like a really bold choice (laughs) sure (laughs) it's a bold choice uh yeah um also i my rewatching because you've seen this a few times so have i I have seen this once before. Oh. I saw this once in 2002. Oh, okay. So it's been a mm-hmm. while. I remembered almost nothing. I remembered wow. the laser sequence, and that was about it. Yeah, I remembered more than that. I knew how it ended. I, I guess I had seen this more times than you. Uh, uh, I The one thing I noticed this time is Michelle Rodriguez really has to protect herself better she gets bit like in every <laughs> scene of this movie it remind the yeah it's almost comedic where it's it, every well, scene well, she the, keeps the, getting bit in the sewer scene she gets bit like four times yeah. in rapid succession and all i could think about was the scene in mcgruber where uh will forte <laughs> pulls ryan Philippi in front of him and ryan Philippi just keeps getting shot yes <laughs> Yeah, because it was like, oh, Michelle, you really got to keep your hands it's in. It's like, just, you're getting the shit bit out yeah. of you. And it's always her fault. It always feels like her fault. Where she like, right, sticks her gun out and over... then a, yeah, a zombie like shows up right be, right next to her. And it was like, it was yeah. right there, Michelle. What the fuck? Yeah, she's always, she's always overextending herself. Yeah. And she's just getting bit to shit. Maybe yeah, she figures it's... like, well, I've already been bit once. I think after you've been bit once and you know what the rules are, it's just like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, it'll hurt, but like, whatever. I'll take, I'll take a couple of more hits for the team. Right. It's like uh, one bite, two bite. It's all going to the same place. Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, so you didn't like this film? Not, not really. Okay. I think it's kind of slow. I like the idea of it. I like her waking up with the amnesia, not quite knowing what happened, trying to figure Eric- out who's the yeah. villain yeah waking up with uh james purefoy is that who, who that is yeah he also doesn't have his memory right and then he slowly realizes that he is the bad guy and not even slowly he realizes all at once oh, he's right. the bad guy. i love that because like i guess i don't know how amnesia works but like if uh, you realize yeah. you're the bad guy can you not be bad anymore can you say like oh oops like he just becomes bad after he remembers right. he's bad. Like he's fine. He's actually he's a little prickly toward the soldiers. Yeah. But he's he's gen- he's generally like fine with with uh, Mila Jovovich. And then when all of a sudden all of his memories come back, he's like, "Ha ha! It was me!" Yeah. Like, and all he remembers, and maybe this is just because of the storytelling, we don't see him remember a reason to not like her. He just remembers that he doesn't. You know what I mean? He just remembers well, he, that he's evil, but not what made him evil, which is why it's funny. Uh, yeah, they, we get a little bit of like he thought because we learned that she made a deal with this person who worked who works at Umbrella or was trying to okay snuck inside to like pretend to work for Umbrella, I guess, to steal the virus and expose them. And she was going to, Mila was going to do that because she didn't care much for Umbrella either and was like, okay, but she got to pay me a bunch of money. So James Purfoy is listening to this with a hilarious, like, <laughs> listening device. Yeah. Like, he's just very obviously standing in the front porch of the mansion pointing this thing at them. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, well, like, he's, he's like, I guess in love with her. Like, because they, they clearly had sex and had some kind of romantic relationship while they were in the um, mansion. So he's betrayed that she's betraying the company. 
I don't know, because he's like, he writes that note, today all your dreams come true, and then he goes in and steals the virus and causes the outbreak, doing the two things that she said she was going to do, was steal the virus for a bunch of money and bring down the company. But he's doing it like the evil way, because he's like, we can sell this virus and make all that money. Right. So you'd think he would have... Yeah, he's not mad at her yet. He not needs yet. to check in with her. So mm-hmm. he, yeah, he grabs the gun because he wants the power in that situation, and then he wants to negotiate. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I I does this bring us to the time where because we're starting to talk about the company stuff. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to cut. I mean, the this movie has a ton of zombies that range from looking decent to, I mean, looking okay to looking decent, I guess. Yeah. Um, the monster looks atrocious, Yeah, but that's kind of not its fault. <laughs> like yeah, it's the 2002. monster didn't ask to be atrocious. No, I didn't want to look like that. Yeah. But overall, my, I, I don't have much more thoughts on the actual movie that doesn't involve, you know, talking about hmm. Umbrella. Right, yeah. Um, so I guess we should get into that section then. All right, let's... Uh, Let's open up the board meeting. Let's uh, let's yeah. have our first ever meeting as as new new members of the uh, of the Umbrella Corporation. I gotta tell you, I got an impressive package. Oh yeah, me too. The orientation was a little long, but uh, <laughs> a lot of stock options. I'm not even sure what all these are for. Oh yeah. Yeah, There's no, like 15 well, different companies I didn't even know Umbrella owned. Well, t- uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Tom, let's... Uh, l- I guess that's my first question now that I mm-hmm. am uh, part of this company is I don't know what we do. <laughs> I've heard uh, that 9 out of 10 homes contain products, Umbrella products, where the largest commercial entity in the U.S. That's what the orientation video said. Uh, but all I've seen walking around are a bunch of steel drums uh, and, like, crates full of chemicals. Yeah, I think the Hive is specifically part of its covert stuff. Like, it, it Umbrella makes a bunch of consumer products and pharmaceuticals. Okay. Um, but then on the download, Dave, on the DL... Right. They're also doing a lot of top secret research uh, for military contracts and things like that. Okay, so our Hive is for it's a that place, and we it's have a, a place. we have a train there's a train that runs i don't know 500 yards okay <laughs> i've also that. i've also noticed on the train a mile i don't know <laughs> i've also noticed that the train has housed uh hanging steel pipes uh yeah. are those our products <laughs> I think may perhaps sure. Okay, so we, we can sell manufacture pipes? steel pipes for the construction industry. But then why are we manufacturing it in the hive? I don't know. Maybe those steel pipes were vital to something. Okay. But the train only goes to two places. The train goes to the mansion and the train goes to the hive, which there's there's not a lot of metal pipe activity going on inside that hive. It's mostly computers. Right. And the mansion uh, <laughs> the mansion also doesn't have any like places for trucks to pull up. Uh, and no. get the product. Cause it all has to come in in that tiny two-car train. Yeah. So that means they have to get drums of medical equipment because they're doing genetic testing too. So like a lot of biological material, all their computer equipment, all the food. Because all of those employees live and work down there. They just stay down there in the hive. I googled what um, steel drums c- typically contain because there mm-hmm. were so many. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Steel drum barrels are commonly used for either chemicals or oil or dried goods, Tom. So maybe so th- <laughs> maybe they're all eating just beans down there. Yeah. They're eating like dried fruit. Yeah. Uh, I wanna, dried apricot. I want to really get into what the product is because... Well, I have a couple more thoughts. Okay. About just the overall structure of this company. Yeah, they do... The the fact that we they have to load and unload everything from that mansion is totally insane, and I hadn't thought about that. Because well, if the man the mansion's supposed to be the secret entrance, right? There not might if be... you're bringing truckloads of fucking food and chemical drums in there. That's the thing is that it would be one thing if like because I'm sure the hive has other entrances and exits, uh, but that specific exit 
has a train that's used for sh- like moving product and when they go into the basement of the mansion mm-hmm. there's drums there it's filled with drums of chemicals uh and like big boxes from umbrella no, that's that's the um yeah that's the that's the uh the sh- the, pl- the train platform it's not necessarily the basement well they go it's like they go it's downstairs in the secret and the door. next thing we see is that room and mm-hmm. then they take the train and then there's more of that which to me yes. implies that they're taking things either to or from both the hive yeah that are in big chemical tanks so mm-hmm. like from what i can tell the only thing they're exporting out are are vats of chemicals um big boxes and uh pipes listen man somebody's got to lay that pipe you know yeah, if it's true. not going to be us then we you know we want to jump on that pipe we got to get on that pipe contract so uh, basically um from what we've been told about umbrella and its reach it's essentially blackwater northup grumman pfizer and a bunch of ghoulish nazi doctors all rolled up into one company and also google because yeah, it's, like a, it's like a slightly right. it's an umbrella laptop all the electronics are uh, are, are umbrella branded. So um, probably home Mila security. Mila Jovovich's uh, yeah yeah. Mila Jovovich's fake wedding ring says "Property of Umbrella Corp" in it. Yeah. So they make wedding bands. Um, it's like a slightly more evil Amazon. Okay. Well, they say their products are computer technology, medical products, and healthcare. Uh, that's what was in the orientation. Uh, at the beginning of this movie. Uh, mm-hmm. So the computer technology must be like home security. And laptops, I guess. Like if they're going to say they're in nine out of 10 households, not like nine out of 10 households don't have home security. That's true. But, so, yeah. but if they're, if they're whipping out, okay, so I'm sorry. It's like a slightly more evil Apple or Google. It's like if Eric Prince ran Google. Right. Well, um, I, I wonder because everything they, like when she, I was trying to look like when they're in the mansion, uh-huh. The mansion is probably a home that has uh, umbrella products in it. And I was trying to see what are unique products in that home. And it was security cameras, the guns, and the locked drawer. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was thinking it's all kind of protection stuff. Uh, the laptop is probably, yeah, more of a commercial product. Uh, the graphics have an umbrella logo, so I, I'm guessing they make software as well. Uh, clearly they made an ai yeah sorry we yeah is that we we did yeah we, we, did we made an ai we did all <laughs> we, we, we did all of this i guess maybe we also make statues Why? there's a couple of statues in that mansion <laughs> yeah, but those could be decorative that's true yeah i have a question about the mansion in general i don't know if we should talk about this yet because i'm still not I'm still a little also fuzzy we make of, trains <laughs> yes we though yes our trains have a fucking umbrella logo on them uh-huh that's a whole different industry yeah because that train is just a train it's not like a computerized train from what i could tell it's just a train it runs on rails so is Uh it like tesla slash google are we is that what we're i guess because we we have helicopters too i mean we have a whole private security we have a private security army yeah and i assume we manufacture like the gas masks and the guns almost uh, certainly the swat gear uh so security cameras um guns uh special showers that emit gas is that nerve just gas is that just specific we to, must make nerve gas too let's talk about the mansion and why we have the mansion sure so apparently that was not clear to me in any of the materials they gave us no and, and we probably spent a lot of money on it because i mean this this entire facility with the mansion it's like a uh, it's it's the hive is like it extends to several miles beneath the city um a whole uh transportation system like a train and a train tracks to mm-hmm. and from this place all the computers all of the 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 staff required all the the materials required to like feed the staff and fund their research that they're doing which is all like really complicated genetic level like virus stuff yeah um well, like this, we is, this is like this is like a trillion dollar endeavor. Yeah, and it, we'll put the virus stuff to the side because we ha- sure. we haven't even begun to talk about our secret operations. Right. Uh, more okay. The, yeah, because we we built this mansion. We 
we uh, put nerve gas in the in the shower in case mm-hmm. we had to knock somebody out who's taking a shower there. But the only people yeah. who would take a shower there. Oh, that's part of the security feature, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We it's wanted part of the a, Red Queen security feature. Okay, well, I have a question about that because we put we put security officers in the house and we had them pose as a married couple. Yeah. Now, why would we do that? Is it that's an that's an excellent question. The quest the the only reason we would do that is to um, convince the government that nothing's happening, right? That's part of it, yeah. Uh, to protect the secret entrance from any 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 nosy snoopers, right? Just to make it look normal. So we hired the security. We had them pose as married couple, and if anything went wrong in the hive, we were going to knock out the security on the outside. Apparently, that, uh, apparently that was an option. Doesn't that make them not do their jobs of securing? Um, I don't know. It seemed like it was part of like a total facility lockdown meant to catch anybody that might have made it to the mansion. So just to be clear, anybody who went to the mansion and then took a shower. Right. Oh, I assume just for efficiency's sake, they put those vents everywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, that checks out. Yeah, including the shower. Yeah, you're gonna want to cram one in the shower. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's fair. That's like what, fair. what. What if what if There's somebody? There's a tube right there that you can cram it in. You know, yeah. what if somebody escaped from the facility, just just lousy with 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 death plague, you know, just just coming off them in waves. You can see it like an aura in the air around them, like Pigpen, that 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 Snoopy character. Right. Yes. Um, and then before running out of the house, uh, to spread his dirty contagion to the rest of the world. Um, he decides he's got to pop into the bathroom and, and do a tuzier real quick. Sure. And so you got, that's why you want to have that vent in there. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, so that you can blast somebody with gas in case they decide to try to take a dump before they leave the mansion. And then they'll be just laying there on the floor when the, uh, the, the, the cleanup crew comes by so they can just execute him right there and, and oh, just that get that out. done with. And then he's already in the bathroom, so cleanup is easy. Yeah, you're right. You just turn on the shower, chop him up. There's a lot of advantages to having a nerve gas vent in your bathroom, is what I'm saying. Yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, Tom, did you get your security card yet? (laughs) Because I found, if you haven't gotten your security card yet, uh, just cram a needle in the slide, in the card reader. Yeah. And you can just cram a bloody needle. Yeah. Yeah. Doors open on blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an odd design. It is a weird design for our card You just card bleed readers. into any lock and the door throws <laughs> itself open. Uh, okay. I have an overall question now. Sure. Okay. Because we've established that they put a lot of work into this mansion mm-hmm. that has is run by a secret security pretending to be a couple. Again, yes. I assume so the government doesn't find out or at least in part... I assume so nobody comes a snooping. Yes, because the reason I bring up the government is because... So this facility we've been jumped into uh, yeah. is uh, is secret, and it's under a giant city? Yes. How did we make the facility? How did Umbrella build this? Um, I don't know. Okay. That wasn't in any of the, the, the brochures that they gave me. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not in my orientation packet. I'm going to assume that they just have nerve gas vents all over the city. Yeah. But like how did, why isn't this facility out in the desert or some, or in a mountain? Like if you. Or even better, why isn't it like in some South American country or something, you know, like yeah. some, some place uh, outside of, of the continental United States that has way more relaxed uh, regulations but like how, on medical research. How did people not... Like, it, there's a news article on history.com that I looked up about government bunkers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we know about them because it's, it's hard to build one without people realizing something's going on. You have to hide it in another construction project uh, because it's very disruptive. You have to dig up the ground and put the, build right. the facility. You can't dig through the ground like a mole and then build a facility. Right. You have to excavate it and carry the th- materials down piece by piece and build it over time. It's a very big project. It's like they, it's like trying to build the Technodrome underneath Los Angeles without anybody noticing. Exactly. So this can't be a secret facility. It just can't. 
unless there's some technology that we we don't know about. Well, listen, we know that uh, Umbrella and the government, specifically the military, have some sort of working relationship. So maybe they're just kind of looking the other way. Yeah, I and guess. telling telling people in Raccoon City that it's earthquakes. Yeah, you're right. They're Maybe sitting they on top of a super volcano yeah, or something. Something like that. I like to think we were just microdosing everybody in Racco- Raccoon City yeah. for, for, for months until we got that shit dug out. Just putting it in the water because mm-hmm. I'm sure we have pipes that do that. There yep. must be. It, it's, you, like everybody in Raccoon, Raccoon City lost an entire year. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They think it's 2019 in Raccoon City. No one's City. telling them. Yeah. <laughs> the governor is just. Like shh, it's the it's, shh. it's the it's the village except they're only one year behind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 shy on the latest those dystopian is happening in <laughs> Raccoon City. Yeah. Well, until another <laughs> other dystopia happens, it's less lame. But yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're not terribly good at containing things. No, in fact, when we okay, when 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 the problem happens, we can't access the cameras of the hive. Uh, we have no. no we, can't, we, can't, we gave the the hive complete autonomy to the point where it's not even telling us what it's doing. Yes. So we have to physically send a team of people there to find out what the hell happened. And then when that team that doesn't seem that doesn't seem cost effective at all. Yeah. And when that team disappears and two people return, instead of asking them what happened, we we quarantine one, knock out the other, and just send another team in. This is the biggest question I had, and they sort of breezed right past this part yes. um, of the meeting today, and I didn't really get to raise my hand, but I underlined it several times. Uh-huh. Um, so this Matt guy, we don't know who the hell he is. No, we don't. The umbrella team just walked in, saw a guy with a scratch on his arm, and said he's perfect, and just dragged him off for the Nemesis Project. Yeah. Also, what is the Nemesis Project? Oh, you're going to find out. Okay. Because <laughs> I've heard I've heard some whispers in the hallway well, about this. Okay, what I read, I read an email going around that we were making mm-hmm. literal mutant demons. Uh Yes. Oh yeah. I've got some thoughts on that yeah, too. Yeah, we what we did is we took the T virus, which was a medical breakthrough, and uh we we took dead bodies and we injected the T virus directly in the dead bodies. Um and when we d- injected it directly into the flesh, um, it became unstable and it created this demon with a, with a big tongue. Uh, and it, and we, it was a failure. Uh, but we also kept yeah. a room full of them. Well, I mean, Dave, that's all, uns- that's all unsold inventory, my man. Okay. That's, we couldn't move those things. <laughs> what would we? No, nobody wanted to buy the liquors. Why would we make guys, so many guys, of them? You guys want to want to want to want to buy this skinless bone demon? No, nobody wanted to buy it. Okay. It was not not an attractive uh, sales pitch. Yeah, I mean, I've where seen would you... some of the slides for that thing, <laughs> and it did not go over well. <laughs> Who were we selling? Trying to sell them to the government, oh, the military. Yeah, you know, the military, Blackwater. Um, what was our pitch? Some some Saudi princes. What was our pitch? Uh, Home defense. We just, you'd keep uh, one on a leash. Are you urban go, pacification. You drop and also, yeah, there was, a, there was a pet slide. I'm not going to lie. There was a pet slide. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, we have so many. Population <laughs> control. It was, it was, ma- it was mainly for, uh, for defense and, and uh, uh, population pacification. Okay. Yeah, because it seems like the best thing you could do with it is drop them over a country you didn't like. Uh, uh-huh. Because, like, uh, also, where would you keep them? Do you do you have to feed them? Oh yes, you do. So we would sell them in the pods, and I assume we tell them like, look, once you unhook the pod, uh, the 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 pin is pulled on that grenade. Right. Yeah. You just kind of you 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 drop this wherever you want it to be, and then just let it go off like a jack in the box. Okay. Uh, but you make sure to be several miles in the other direction when you do that. Right. And this is opposed to drones, or like missiles, or or drones Bombs. or rockets or you know yeah like 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 yeah it's so you would fly a plane over or a helicopter or a helicopter you drop it out with a parachute right you'd need a parachute mm. oh on you'd them. need a few it weighs about 800 pounds yeah so you'd parachute them in uh that's i mean 
It's I, you're just, Dave. You're just running through all the reasons why nobody bought one. Okay, that's fair. It, 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 the, the biggest problem was it didn't. It turned out not to have any sort of brain that was really trainable. Right. Um. So you 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 can't tell it anything. <laughs> that's true. That's fair. Uh, but um, yeah. I, I we hear just that held on to them. Then. <laughs> we, I mean, what else are we gonna do with it? Yeah, not destroy it. I guess. I mean, you never know when you're going to need one of these things in your back pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. Um, and some I sort mean, of uh, it's a corporate takeover. That's true. You just fucking you they the corporate takeover, and you go, oh no, don't look what's what's in those boxes. Don't look yeah. in there. No, I, th- I think they're planning on dropping one on Disney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could see that um, ruining uh, yeah. <laughs> the happiest place on earth. Oh yeah. The <clears throat> so the T virus. Yes. Um is based off the assumption that our fingernails and hair grows after we die, which isn't true. That is not true. Okay. We should have probably looked into that. That is, in point of fact, your skin uh, pulling back uh, as the fluid leaves it. Yes. It's it's the the beginning of mummification, essentially. Yeah. But apparently the brain Uh itself holds a small electrical charge. Or not mum, mum, not mummification, but you know what I'm talking about. You oh, know what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, you're you, 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 you're rotten. You're you're you you know. Yeah, you're rotting. You're shrinking. <laughs> yeah, um, the skin is 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 yeah. The brain itself holds a small electrical charge uh, that the T virus puts a massive jolt into both the cellular growth and to those trace chemical impulses. That's what was on the that Listen, was on the training. I, uh, I I was playing Tetris on my phone when okay. we hit that point. I I believe you. Okay. What I understand is it makes uh, it, it 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 allows for cell regeneration, but if if the th- thing's already dead, then it just kind of turns you into a zombie. Okay. And if it's not already dead, it it mutates the shit out of you. So we were gonna sell this to hospitals. I don't know what we were gonna do with it. I think we we developed it as like a miracle cure, but then realized that oh no, it makes zombies and and monsters. Right. So nobody's we just, gonna want that. We made a few zombie dogs. Boy, we have a lot of dogs in this facility. Well, the dogs were for testing, but I, I assume when when the, the the virus sample broke, the dogs all got infected. Yeah, but why did we only get one breed of dog? Because Dobermans are cool, bro. No, because we know a guy. Oh, okay, we know we a got, Doberman guy. Umbr- Umbrella's got like a breeder that it works with. Yeah, who's just like I fucking hate these Dobermans. Take all my Dobermans. Yeah. He owned the land that the mansion is on, so we kind of, you know, had to cut a deal with them, or else he was going to really gouge us on the price. Right? He's like, and I'll, and I'll throw in these Dobermans, and they're like, oh, like, okay, fucking sure. Can we use these Dobermans? Yeah, we could probably fucking cut them up for yeah, something. We can inject him with some sort of virus. <laughs> Put some kind of green shit in his head. Let's see what happens to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does the T stand for in T virus? Tyrant. Really? Yes. We called it a tyrant virus? Mm-hmm. Why would we do that? I don't know. Why would we call it a virus? <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be to heal? Isn't it supposed to heal? I'm not sure if it was originally called the, the T virus we when should, it was being developed. Well, they call it... I mean, the Red Queen calls it that. They call it that in well, the we orientation. we call it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. I don't know what it... It might have been called something way oh, different. Oh, you're, you're saying it's a rebranding. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it was probably called like uh, I don't know the the miracle tonic or something. And then when it turned out that it it doesn't actually uh, give you the ability to walk again, and and really, I mean, it it, it, it not in the sense that it like repairs a, a damaged spinal cord, but in the sense that you will walk again after having died. Um, we decided not to call it the miracle tonic anymore. Okay. I think we tried nightmare fuel at one point, and yeah, that really that wasn't. Out. I really wants to buy that, so we decided on something more sciency. So I'm sensing a real pivot in this company. Uh, that at one point we were making commercial project products for for uh, homes and for businesses and, and hospitals, m- and hospitals. And pharmaceuticals. yeah, and pharmaceuticals. And then we tried to make a miracle drug. Uh, and in testing, the miracle drug accidentally did something horrifying. So, right. so then, listen, Umbrella's adaptable, so we shifted it over to the shady side of stuff, okay. and maybe we're going to try to we're going to try to sell this puppy. So, because it, you would think we would just try again, you know, that's well, easier you do, you than do changing both. your okay. 
you do both. You keep trying again to get the Miracle Tonic because that's going to sell as well. Right. But uh, zombie juice is pretty lucrative. Is <laughs> how how who? Uh... <laughs> it's it's it, look, man. Okay. It's it, it's 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 you. It's a gas attack, my man. Okay. So Saddam the, uh, would have bought a bunch of these things. Yeah. So the idea, but would he have? I, maybe. Here's the. Th- <sighs> Like I mean, you probably don't want to drop it in your. Uh, I don't know. It becomes know. everybody's problem. Is my point. Yeah. Unless you, even if you, well, even if you go to like, let's say you want to gas off Australia. Sure. Uh, we're we're at war with Australia, or somebody is, um, mm-hmm. and I choose Australia because it's an island. Uh, this could also be Madagascar or New Zealand or wherever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the picture. Yeah, it's bound to get off of the island. Because people don't think, right away hmm. show symptoms. The bi- the biting. We know. Okay, how do we how do we know that it spreads? Did we make one of these and it bit somebody? Uh, and there was a whole uh, incident. Probably. Okay, that person. I mean, that's probably how we that's how we home. figured out it zombied people. I assume. Right. Um, I'm sure any of those records are absolutely, uh, we're not going to be able to access using our login that's, information. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I can barely get into my email. Yeah. I keep getting uh, fucking <laughs> spooky ass red queen every time I use the wrong password. Yeah, it's I horrifying. Why would she'll you just be, she'll just beam in randomly when nobody else is in the room and scare the shit out of me? Why would you do, why would you make your AI terrifying? I don't and know. Like, able to look like a little kid that doesn't seem right no that's i don't know that seems like Um, the person who designed it had problems well they said he made it after his daughter maybe she i don't know maybe she was possessed oh okay maybe she's a little creepy ass little kid and he just programmed all her creep sure his ai so her fucking creepy ass gets to live forever and creep me the fuck out at random points Mm -hmm. at work Mm -hmm. they're telling me it's just random and accidental but i know she's doing it on purpose yeah oh no that's that's how she gets her kicks I mean, what else are you going to do all day if you're a computer? You're going to spook people. Okay, so maybe it's this. Okay. If if you if you buy the T virus, let's say you you bought it. Let's say I don't know you're, I don't know some kind of terrorist, okay. or uh, some sort of dictatorial figure. You could then in, uh, release the virus in, in a population you want to get rid of, some kind of city you don't like anymore. All right, but then you have zombies. Right, then you have zombies, but then as the person in charge, you have the excuse of, well, this zombie thing is, is pretty crazy, right? We should probably nuke that city. So then you nuke the city, boom, problem solved, zombies are gone, plus you got to nuke the city, and you have a perfectly good reason to do so. So you oh. get to do it without no harm, no foul. Okay, so it's manufacturing a, a, like a virus that you don't have to say is your fault. Yeah. So you can nuke the city. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Uh, I mean, plan. that's what I would do. Yeah. It's still a very dangerous plan because you're risking the entire world getting infected. Yeah, it's not the best plan. I mean, this was the follow-up to the liquor pr- uh, thing. and you know, I mean, it's, it shares a lot of the same problems. Yeah. I feel like we're... I feel like our company is only just getting into, like, weapons manufacturing. And we used what we had. Uh, and frankly, we should be making robots and stuff like that. Yeah, I think biological weaponry was a happy accident Mm -hmm. like it's all because of this stupid virus that we started making monsters like hey well we got these monsters better hang on to them right or we can sell them to the circus you think we heard that like ingen was making dinosaur soldiers and we were like we have to compete with that we had to one up them. yeah we're making nightmares you're gonna have like a raptor army we got to have our own horde of of goblins right and i guess this brings me to the nemesis program because so we're okay were we god damn it where we was the t virus meant to be a weapon i don't think initially no okay uh <sighs> this guy matt why did they <sighs> why wouldn't they just kill him because isn't the point to not to contain it in the hive uh if they think he's infected yeah they know he's infected they can see he's mutated why would they take him and bring him to this other program. Does that mean they we're wanna, doing they it wanna... elsewhere too? Uh-huh. I guess. Okay. I, well, I guess what I'm saying is the liquors were specifically a failed experiment. Yes. So to find out someone was scratched by one, mm-hmm. uh, 
which I assume is a thing that happened in the past because they must it, have found out these things were a nightmare somehow. Right, yeah. They, they seemed to just kind of gloss over the fact that, oh yeah, if the liquor gets uh, any kind of genetic contact with anybody else, it will mutate. And apparently the person it attacks will also mutate. It's like werewolf rules. Okay, and the person is not going to... I assume not going to turn into one themselves. I guess my point was that if he's just going to turn into another liquor, uh, why do they need, they buy, they got plenty downstairs. Uh, and why would they want what it's going to do to him? Because. Listen, you never just give up on, on big monsters. We want to see what kind of big monster he turns into. Okay. So what I'm hearing here is that the liquor in the past has attacked people and they've turned into something different something exciting right, yeah we don't know i mean maybe some of them had wings that'd be pretty cool right wings right like a winged winged thing maybe we could we could put a little helmet on it and it could it could fly around and take photographs of 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 of, of enemy bases i okay. don't know yeah because it seems like we have the same problem or uh, maybe it could i mean maybe we could it could deliver packages maybe it could deliver umbrella oh, laptops to people yeah. around the country yeah maybe they're looking for a tame one or something because it seems maybe. like the same problem all over again which is that you can't sell these things uh is anybody yeah. gonna ask about the human rights aspect when we go public with these oh no we just will leave that part out i'm sure oh, okay are we trying to take over the world <sighs> you know what what I've been thinking about this. Okay. <laughs> I've been thinking about this all week. Um, and I'm going to say a hard maybe. I kind of don't. I think like maybe we are. You think so? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, that would make the most I don't know sense. why else you would need uh, a crazy AI that can, that just murdered every employee in a facility um, to respond to a crisis. And also we're making armies of, of monsters. I don't know. Right. I don't know how that helps us sell laptops. Yeah. Who's our CEO? Do we know? I don't know. They're, they're very evasive about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I noticed that too. Um, I guess maybe we release the virus somewhere and then we come in and sell the vaccine. Oh, maybe we could do that. Okay. But you can get a lot of money off of that. I have a question about that too. Do you think, do you think the virus is, too aggressive to do that um i think you're gonna have to accept like like you're gonna have to like a plan for like an entire city loss in there got it and then the rest of the country will be like oh we need that vaccine we give it out scooping up that juicy vax okay so is so it's just for money yeah why else what else is there i guess my question then is like don't we have an uh, we talked about how good our employee packages are like this is a big company it's can afford Mm -hmm. to build a secret facility underground yeah uh i don't know why we would need to do that um i don't know to make our monsters to make our monsters outside of the prying eyes of the government and the i guess i'm just this bleeding heart uh uh eco terrorists i'm getting a real vibe that like maybe whoever's in charge uh is some kind of maniac maybe i thought maybe it might be like the devil yeah like the actual christian devil yeah i could see that has anybody Um, filed a complaint yet has anybody i guess they're all dead now uh there's no have have you seen an hr department i haven't seen one we can't possibly have a hr department no i'm sure we don't oh well okay hold on though who decided it was a good idea to make the underground look like a skyscraper so we don't go crazy? That was really helpful. Oh, yeah. That was pretty helpful. Yeah, that was good for, like, if we didn't have an HR department, who Maybe figured they just that figured out? that out. And maybe people kept snapping and, and, and biting each other's eyes. Right. Um, and then they, and they, and one of these meetings, they realized, hey, we should probably make it look like Vancouver or whatever mm-hmm. outside. Definitely So Vancouver. people don't crack. Yeah, I mean... I mean, it looks like a fish tank wallpaper. Yeah, but, but it's something. It's lit it's up. It's something. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I'm keeping these things in the back of my head, but like... I'm a little scared I mean, about... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I was... I was just, let me hear what you have to say, and then, I, then, I'll, then I'll, say, okay. I'll slide my piece in there. I'm just a little... I realized I'm a little scared about uh, my office to make sure that, like, it can't be flooded easily. Because, like, most rooms can't just be flooded. 
Yeah. They aren't airtight, but our offices seem very air- airtight, and that, that worries me. Do they? I hadn't noticed. Mm, yeah. There's hmm. something there's something to that. I don't know. I feel like I can get flooded at any time. Well, I feel like I've got a pretty good view of, 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 of the halls around my office, so I don't think any, any monster is going to be able to sneak up on me without oh, okay. me seeing that's it coming. Good. So that's good. Um, but, like, you know, I'm keeping all this stuff in the back of my mind. But did you get your first direct deposit? No. <sighs> Why? It's it's one of those numbers that makes me not really want to answer all these questions. Oh, that's true. I gotta be honest. Well, I mean, if they can pay us that much, then like, I still mm-hmm. don't understand why we're why we're trying to sell a, a zombie virus. Listen, man, you can you can sell a, a fucking penguin and a race car for the amount of money. I don't care. All right, that's true. <laughs> like, whatever you guys want to sell. Surely someone's it's- gonna speak up who works in here i don't know oh yeah it seems I know, like a yeah. war so crime sh- well somebody will somebody will you know and then when that person does speak up then you and i can be like oh yeah we saw this weird shit when we're protected when our showers yeah. don't kill us because mm-hmm. uh, they could at any time that's true there are Apparently. several uh, conspicuously tube-shaped holes in the employee bathroom mm-hmm. i've noticed yeah yeah this whole place they really uh Okay, <laughs> so this they really uh, designed this facility to be able to kill us at any time. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. That makes yeah. me think that we've been doing this for a Like, that we wanted the T-virus to be the, what, tyrant virus? <laughs> the terror virus or whatever? The, ter- the terror virus. <laughs> it, seems, it sure seems like we were always doing evil stuff in here. It wasn't an oopsie. Yeah, oopsie. I think the ability to, to it, when, you're, when, you're, when you're playing around with genetic stuff and you're playing around with uh, possible contagions, I think it's pretty common to, to, to build it in a way that it can be sealed. It's like, okay. you know, it's like, it's like a submarine is designed that you can, or a boat is designed right. that you can seal off areas in case that they start to flood. Okay, but not, but still, still build it under a major city. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Regulations get in the way of innovation. Okay. You heard. You heard when they said that. Okay. Yeah. It's on all the stationery. It's on all the stationery. It's all over my desk. <laughs> it's, it's on posters in every room. Yeah, it's just just motivational posters that just say shit like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, regulation stifles innovation. Why not monsters? Why not monsters? Uh, <laughs> Let's do it for some reason. Yeah. Oh, oh man. I, is that the meeting? Are we done? I think, so. I think we can adjourn this meeting, man. I don't have anything else to say. This okay. Is, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about... Uh, I'm filled with questions. I'm still, I still not sure what we make. I don't know what Umbrella makes. We make a lot of uh, logos, that's for sure. Yes, that's true. Our logo is everywhere. And it's pretty great. Yeah, it's a pretty solid logo. That's we a good got, design. Yeah, whoever does our graphic design is top-notch. Really good on yeah. the terrifyingness. Of, yeah, absolutely uh, crushing it. Yeah, and our all security the, the, systems. The, holy shit, that's just... Yeah. No one's coming back to a house that has a fucking laser grid. Yeah, that's that that, that shit is haunted. Yeah. <laughs> we made a haunted-ass AI. Yeah. <laughs> All the font and all these programs are scary as shit. Yeah, we re- yeah we we know our brand. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we lean hard into it. Yeah. I think that's a, that's an important thing is, is brand maintaining a strong brand identity. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's better than like than like being like McDonald's and you're like paying your employees shit, but you try to act really like cheery mm-hmm. in all your branding. Like at least we're you know at least we. We pretty much say it up front. Like any anybody who allows us to be in their neighborhood, they got to know, right? They got to be like, oh, that's an evil company. Oh, yeah. No, I got a real Faustian vibe from from this uh, orientation. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> I guess we're done. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Meeting adjourned, folks. Oh, man. I have no idea if that worked or not. I mean, you have to have watched the movie to enjoy yeah, really our do. meeting. That's true. Yeah, you really have to have watched the movie. Because we're not but... explaining anything. <laughs>
<laughs> Why I would think we? they'll get the gist of it. I think they'll get the we gist could of have. it. We could have explained things. We just chose we, not to. We could have. Yeah, we could have. Well, maybe we'll, we'll figure it out but a we little were, bit more we were as just the series so, goes We on. were just so in our characters. Yeah, man. We, did you guys feel that? I had a whole backstory, Tom. Did you guys feel that, that magic? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I wrote up a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you, si- I'm sitting here rolling up stats while we're recording. Yeah, you don't know it, but there, it all came out in the dialogue. Mm-hmm. It's all there. That it's was all there. Scripted. Mm-hmm. Yeah definitely was not us rambling whatsoever no no i had legitimate questions though i don't under- oh yeah no, no, no. <laughs> yeah i don't understand this i don't understand it and i'm curious to know what the sequels are going to reveal uh i'm i'm very excited for you to see what the nemesis program is oh okay <laughs> I mean, I've seen the sequel. This is what I was talking about. I've seen several of these movies, and I legitimately don't remember what the Nemesis program is. And these are oh movies my. I've seen at least within the ten year, last 10 years. Uh, you're going to have just even more questions. Okay, <laughs> good. The Nemesis program. My biggest fear of this podcast is that it won't lean on the fucking Umbrella Com- Corporation. Uh, and that like these are going to be the same questions every time. The primary primary one being like, what are we doing? Yeah, I mean, no, that's going to be the that's going to be the 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 overall question. But I think, from what I know, definitely of the games, each one has a, a specific element unique to that installment. Where it's like, what the fuck is this now? Yeah. So that should be that should be the corporate uh, motto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Umbrella. What the fuck is this now? <laughs> I don't know. Sell it. So slap a price tag on that monster, shove yeah, it into a store, push it into Walmart. Yeah. Fuck. Let's get some liquors down at the Home Depot. <laughs> These monsters in cages just yep. on giant shelves. <laughs> you need an employee to help you get it down. Yeah. These one of those hooks. All the employers are like, not that are up real high. Yeah. No one wants to go near them. Uh, <laughs> folks uh, thank you for folks, listening yeah thank you guys so much for enduring this hopefully it was well we don't really <laughs> best we, podcast <laughs> thank, we you. We, thank we, you for enduring we our bullshit r- really didn't have that much of a plan going into this well so. owen rice gave us plenty of a plan he gave us specific ideas so yeah, if we fucked I it think, up that's on us yeah. um no i mean so we're, we're, we're trying something a little different here sure i guess i guess kind of little bit we could have done voices tom we oh shit we could have done voices oh man no i wasn't no, gonna yeah do a you're voice. right i'm I was glad we're gonna I'm, do a voice i'm glad we left that on the table <laughs> i don't want to commit to a goddamn voice no no god for a podcast mm-hmm. do a voice every for time a, for a six hour podcast yeah uh i i wouldn't be even like i wouldn't be able to remember the voice between podcasts it would change every time uh, mm-hmm. If we did voices, it could be like Ninja Turtle voices. Yeah, like we could do rad surfer <laughs> dudes. <It's me>, Donatello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I did. I forgot that reference when I said that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Donatello. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, guys, <laughs> we have a Patreon. We do patreoncom slash unemployed. We have exclusive podcasts there, like Tom and Jeff Watch Batman and Fox Mulder is a Maniac. You can also ask us to do a podcast for you. We have producer uh, tiers where you produce a podcast. Make it whatever you want, which is what you're listening to right now. Yep, that's Uh, how this happened. Yeah, and keep keep your eyes out for new episodes of Worst Corp Ever. Yeah, like I said, this is it's a six movie series, so there's gonna be several more of these. Oh yeah, um, maybe we'll add fun radio play sound effects. I don't fucking. Know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing. It. <laughs> maybe Dave and I'll get killed by zombies at the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I could maybe see. We'll do. A, maybe we'll do a bonus episode where we're just zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't know what that would be we talk about like our zombie families uh, or it could just be like a five minute episode of us just going Uh, um yeah (laughs) they don't want they don't want brains though right they want uh not not these zombies specifically that's the return of living dead zombies yeah 
I miss the I miss the days where zombies just wanted brains. The simpler times. I mean, I'm sure these zombies won't turn down brains. Sure, but they really just want to bite you. They uh, they they're say really, they really, just want to feed. They want the whole thing. They want they want the whole. They, they want to use every part of the yeah. of the human. This is the thing that uh, Agent Fox Mulder brings up. Uh, is that zombies? Well, they say it in this, which is zombies. They just want to eat. They just want their base instincts. But that mm-hmm. means that eventually they're going to want to have sex. Uh, yeah. Like, it, I mean, if it's just yeah. like the idea is that every zombie movie, they wake up and it's stage one and they just want to eat. And then after mm-hmm. that, they're going to do other things. But at first they're just hungry. Like we are when we wake up. Yeah. Well, that means they're eventually going to shit. Too. Sure. Yeah. And it's going to be like, a like, gnarly shit. That's for like sure. Like some real demons. Uh-huh. And then they'll build a society like in Land of the Dead. They'll slowly, mm-hmm. they'll slowly, you know, it's like stage three, stage four. Then they'll make like movies. They'll make their own oh, Resident yeah. Evil. Yeah. You get bit by a person and you turn into mm-hmm. a human. Because some zombie company didn't know what the fuck it was doing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll try to sell these. I don't know. Dude. Yeah. It's fucking. All right. This big swole dude. Yeah. That licks things. Sure. Yeah. Is that it? I think so. Yeah. All I right. think that's all. I think we're running out of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we're not, we're not like strapped for time. We're just talking. No, I think, I think we've ridden the, the wheels off this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so.